Kalbungi y'all, Cat and Beard here. Today, I am doing a opening slash figure review of the new Venom Build a Figure Wave with Eddie Brock's Venom coming at you first. So let's get cracking. So here we have the white Venom box. White, so that way the blackness of Venom's symbiote can stand out, looking really cool. And that window card packaging, you got Eddie Brock, you got the alternate head of actual Venom. Then it also comes with Venom's leg, that's part of the build a figure. On top you get Venom's awesome logo. On the side you get a sweet drawing of Venom. On the back, you get a synopsis, a picture of Venom, and pictures of the other builder figure of the, the other figures in this builder figure set. On the other side, you get more Venom. Nothing really going on at the bottom, and so you guys can read. So you guys can read. There you guys go. And without further ado, let's get Eddie Brock out of the packaging, aka Venom. First off, let's talk about the head of Venom. Incredible good artwork. Got the nice eyes. Got a little bit of a paint varnish right there, but it's fine because it equals that on the other side as well. Nicely done black. Y eyes, got the good coloration of the teeth and the tongue and the red um, gum line, looking good. We also got the, we also got this Eddie Brock head, looking good, nice eyebrows. Nice and cr crazy eyebrows. Got some wrinkles carved in there. Nice forehead. Looking good. Then, as like an added bonus, you get this little tendril thing that goes around his neck. And here we go, got Venom, took out the tendril thing and replaced his head with the actual Venom head. Because I think it looks so much better like this. Nice white spider emblem on his chest. And back. There's the legs, nice and muscular. There's the Venom butt. Got peg holes at the bottom. Got the nice little white squares on his back of his hands. But here he is with the tendrils around his head with the venom head. And with that, I'm going to do the motions that the figure can do. The head can look up that much. Can look down that much. The tendrils do not get in the way. Look left and look right. His arms can go up. That much. Down that much. Rotate all the way around. Got little biceps swivels. Double joint elbows that go way more than 90 degrees. Got whistle levels and they can hinge up and down. So up and down. He's got a diaphragm joint. He can bend down that much. The white spire emblem is covered that much. 
and you can bend back that much. And that way the line bulb is all the way back. He's got a waist swivel. His legs can kick up that much, kick back that much. He's got a side swivel. He's got double jointed knees. He got even a calf swivel. His ankles can go down that much, up that much, and he does have ankle pivot. Now I do really like this Venom figure. I love the interchangeable heads that it comes with. And all around, nice and bulky, the way that Venom should be. And so, here he is next to the Homecoming Spider-Man and the Black Suit Spider-Man. As you can tell, a Brock is much more muscular and in good comparison size with the other figures. And just for fun, if you want to see Venom's head on the Black Suit Spider-Man's body, it just looks ridiculous. Got big head syndrome. All right. And Black Suit Spider-Man's head on the Venom figure. Small head syndrome. <laughs> so funny. And that is all I have for this unboxing slash review of Venom's Eddie Brock. And with that, you gotta feel the beard. Deuces. And also, leave a like, comment down below for your chance to be featured in upcoming videos. Yeah, and fill the beard again. Deuces.